This is the Azada digital alarm clock radio with seven color display. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get an instruction booklet, you get a USB charger like you would have for your phone, it plugs in, gives you USB. They include a USB cable, which is USB to micro USB, and of course you get the clock itself. The first thing I want to point out is it has a matte finish screen. You can see how, yes, you can see the light there, but it's not reflecting in that you can't see the camera or my face in it, which is very, very handy because most clocks have a glossy front. And in doing that, you can have light reflecting off of that, making it hard to see the time. So immediately, that's a good point. Now, the clock, uh, like I said, is a clock radio. It does FM radio, and the display can light up in any of seven different colors and has five different brightness levels. You have two different alarm settings right here. You have a snooze button. You have a nap timer, which I'll get into later. Uh, and a bunch of other features as well. The back of the clock is over here. Here's the speaker for the radio. This is um, over here where the wire that's included plugs in to give the clock power. And you have a USB port to charge your phone. You'll have to include or have to use your own cable. And this here is a battery compartment that takes three uh, AAA batteries for battery backup and interestingly enough this will also keep the display of the clock live however it will only keep it lit up in green most any other clock I've ever seen with uh, you know a battery backup of sorts generally will blank the display and generally doesn't work too well anyways but this seems to work pretty well Okay, so I have this plugged in, and I'm going to apply power to it. It takes just a moment for the clock to quote-unquote boot up. Of course, if you have battery backup uh, on here, that wouldn't be an issue at all. And it does beep when, it is, uh, when power is uh, restored to it. But again, with the battery backup, that won't be a problem. So first I want to show you the brightness levels of the display and the different colors. So the first one you have is off, and it actually is still readable um, just about in broad daylight in, in the room, in, you know, in, 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 in the room's light. I can actually read that without it even being lit up just fine. Then you have a dim setting, and I'm going to shut the lights and show you this as well. And there's another brightness setting, another, and that is your brightest setting. And then once again, you can turn it off. Let me shut the room lights out so you can see that better. Okay, here is the clock at the lowest brightness setting, which is no backlight at all. This is at the lowest setting. This is on the white color. The camera makes it appear a little bit bluish for whatever reason, but it is pretty much a white color as you see right there. And I'll go to the next brightness. The camera is making this appear much brighter than it is in person. And the camera is also adjusting for this as, uh, as I change it. But I'm going to show you the different colors now. So you just hold the button down and it can go green. It can do azure, red, violet, blue, and yellow and then back to white. Also watch, you have seconds, 59, and then it changes the minute. Very handy to have that. The clock is very, very easy to set. There's a 1224 button right in the upper left corner, which will hold down. And then there's up and down arrows. So we're gonna set the hour. It's currently 435 p.m. Four, and we'll go to 35. Press the button again, and we're all set. You can also set the date, so let me get that set. To do that, there's a weekend button, so you press that, and now you just go through the uh, particular thing. So I think today is the 2nd of June, like that. 
and that's it. Now we can press the 1224 button again quickly and it will change to 24 hour time. And that's where I'm going to leave it for the rest of the video. There's a nap feature. Maybe you want a 20 minute nap. So you can set that there and then it'll count down. It immediately goes from 20 to 19, but then it will, you know, ring off in 20 minutes time like that. So let me set that for one minute and uh, then I'll give you an idea of what it sounds like. That's it. Plain and simple. It's very easy to set, and that's just for a nap timer. You can do, of course, you know, a full-blown alarm, and there are two alarm settings. You know, we can set alarm one, and then you would set the time right there. And, of course, you could turn it off, and the same with alarm two, and, uh, you know, would work the same way. But earlier I said something about a weekend button. Well, Typically, people, a lot of people work Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Well, on Saturday and Sunday, you don't want to have to wake up at, you know, 6 in the morning like you normally do. So you can set that with the weekend button, and because it has the date programmed in there, it'll know which days are weekends, and it won't alarm on those days. Or if you're using it for just one person, you could set your second alarm for, uh, you know, a later time uh, for the weekends if you wanted to, if you wanted to get up by, oh, maybe eight or nine or whatever suits your fancy. As stated earlier, the clock has a built-in USB port, so let me go ahead and plug my phone into that using my own cable. And you can hear the tone that the phone is charging. Now there's one other thing to demonstrate to you, which is the FM radio, but I can't do it in this location because this is a basement and nothing comes in down here. They do give you, however, a very long antenna wire, so let me go ahead and undo that just to give you an idea of how long that actually is. So right here, this can come out, and this is... Uh, you know, oh, a good four feet long or so. So that should allow you to pick up some good stations there. Of course, I'll straighten that out better. But let me bring this to another location and we'll test the radio. And for FM radio, I'm going to press that. And it's going to do an auto search here of the available stations on the FM that it can pick up. So let me let it run through that. And you'll notice it says MEM, so it's storing these for you automatically. Now, I can only play a few seconds of this due to copyright. But that should give you an idea right there. And I can raise the volume up. Here's another station I'll play a few seconds of. So that goes pretty loud. It's not too bad at all. Um, I've heard better, I've heard worse, so it certainly will work. You, of course, can wake up to uh, the alarm or to radio, your favorite station. Uh, all around, it looks like a nice clock. And once again, I really like the fact that it's a matte finished screen. There's no reflection off of that like you would get with any other clock out there. Pretty nice clock from Azutta. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.